Oh, it's over the math. Easy solution here to discuss an introduction to implicit differentiation. Uh, I'll show you what it is. It's really useful. Uh, basically, from my early videos, um, what we've been used to you looking at the kind of functions are just kind of like this. At y equals f of x, where you have y on one side, and then you ha it's a function of x, or all the x variables on the other side. For example, y equals x cosine x or whatnot. This is the random one. These are basically explicit functions. But uh, what if we have an equation uh, like, let's say, um, let's say x squared plus y squared equals 25, or something else, let's say x cubed plus y cubed is equals to well, 6 times xy. This one, basically, this, these are called implicit uh, functions. Yeah, they're called implicit functions because, well, basically, y, uh, y or equals f of x is written it is it isn't it isn't all written one on one side like where this case is in this one here like y goes x cos x this one it's it looks like it's two variables but basically x depend yeah y of x depends on x and and sometimes yeah you could rearrange these ones like so if you had let's say x squared plus y squared equals twenty five you could rearrange it to get let's say y equals plus or minus square root twenty five minus x squared. So basically this one, yes, yeah, so you'll get two equations and these are a circle. But basically you could rearrange this to get it, but if you wanted to get y prime or dy over dx, you don't need to do this. Yeah, so basically uh, you, to get the derivative, you don't need to actually solve for y explicitly. You could just solve it uh, or just just get the derivative implicitly, basically by just doing the derivative on, on both sides. So th this is actually really helpful when you look at equations like this. This one right here is really hard to actually rearrange. This one's here is just hard to rearrange to uh, basically. Yeah, so it's hard to solve for y uh, explicitly like this. But, but the thing is that uh, we don't need to to get the derivative. So this is all this whole implicit differentiation. So if we want to get the derivative of this function here, all we have to do basically yes so basically implicit differentiation but all we do is take derivative on both sides yeah so we take derivative of well, let's say in terms of x in this case because x is the dependent basically x is independent and it at y is dependent on whatever x is so basically if we have x squared plus y squared uh, equals 25 all we do is take derivative on both sides so say d over dx of x squared plus y squared equals then we do derivative d over dx 25 we could do this because these left le left and right sides equal each other and we're just doing the derivative of it we're not really uh, changing anything we're just doing the same thing on both sides which we could do that this is the whole principle of uh, implicit differentiation so we take derivative here basically the derivative using power rule see the links below for these rules yes basically the derivative of x squared is just 2x and then plus basically we have to use chain rule and power rule so we go 2y times it by dy over dx, which is the derivative of basically yeah, using chain rule. And the derivative of a constant is zero. So if we rearrange this one, we'll get y prime is equal to dy over dx. dy equals, we just take it to the left side, negative 2x over 2y equals, now it's going to equal to, well, negative 1 over, yeah. I mean, it just equals the negative x over y, the twos cancel. So there's our derivative. Our derivative is in terms of y. We already know what this one is. It's just y equals this. But we don't need to actually solve for it for the derivative. Um, so this, yeah, it's basically to get the derivative, we know it's just, just this. We don't actually have to solve for it. So basically, let's say, yeah, you know, let's say we want to know what the derivative is. Let's say y prime at x equals three. So basically, we don't actually need to solve this, uh, explicitly because now we know that basically x squared. So we know x squared plus y squared equals 25. All we do is just plug in 3 because we need to know what y is. So we need y at x equals 3. So basically all we do is plug in 3 in here. So we'll get 3 squared plus y squared equals 25. Solve for it, we'll get y is equal to, well, plus or minus, this one's 25, minus 9. This one, is, yeah, and this one here is just equal to 16. So we have plus or minus square root 16. Square root of that, that's just plus or minus 4. So basically, if we pu plug it in, the y prime is going to equal to negative of 3 over, well, plus or minus 4 
So we're going to get, so the derivative is going to be equal to, well, plus or minus, this one doesn't really affect anything. So plus or minus 3 over 4 is a, yeah, is a derivative. Basically, uh, depends on, yeah, so it depends on the uh, plus or minus of, of whatever y was. So if it's plus 4, we get negative 3 or 4. If it's negative 4, it's 3 over 4, positive. So now the uh, the really useful thing about implicit differentiation is when you look at functions, let's say, like the one we had above, uh, the x3 plus y3 is equal to 6x times y. This is really hard to solve for y, but to get derivative, we don't need to. We just take the derivative again on the left and right side. So we're going to get 3x squared, and then plus, this one's going to be a 3y squ squared times, well, y prime, using chain rule. We don't do chain rule. We do chain rule here, basically the derivative of x in terms of x. If you have uh, dx over dx, it just equals to 1. So that's why this we don't have to have it x, x prime or whatnot. Basically, this is what kind of x prime is equal to. So here, then, if we go to the right side, we got to use product rule. This one's going to equal to, well, 6 times times by using product rule, derivative of uh, basically x by itself is 1. So we do times y plus 6 times x times derivative of y using chain rule. So basically, then we just solve for y prime. We get, yeah, so just uh, simplified first, actually, just divide it all by 3. So we just divide everything by 3. And this side 3 because it's just common denominator. Then we'll just get, we'll be left with x squared plus y squared times y prime equals 2y plus 6xy prime. Rearrange this, put y prime on this side. We're going to get y squared takes over negative 6x. Take this to the left side. This is equal to 2y minus x squared. This is a y, not an x. And then basically y prime is going to equal 2. Yeah, this one's a 3. Uh, I mean, this is 2x, not I forgot to divide this out. Yeah, so that's a 2 there. I forgot to divide that out uh, by 3. So basically, now we're going to get 2y minus x squared all minus y prime equals 2x. So this is even the derivative is complicated, but we don't actually need to solve for. Yeah, so we, we don't actually need to like solve it explicitly for y. So and if we wanted to do derivative, let's say at x equals three, and well, and y equals three, you could actually you could check the roots, and then it happens to be true. So we could even, we could just check the above equation to make sure these are actually inside this domain. So we'll get let's say so basically three three cubed plus three cubed is equal to six times three times three. I'm just pl plugging into the regular implicit uh, formula. So we're gonna get here in this case. So yeah, if we just uh, simplify, this is adding together. So we'll have 2 times 3 over 3 equals, well, yeah, 6, 3, 3. And then this side right here, this is just equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And then this also, this is just equal to 6, this times that, 3, 3. And yeah, this just equals 3. We don't know, I don't even need to actually solve it, and then you will see it, it's agreed. So yeah, so basically that's just, just check this is inside it. So then all we do is plug this in. So we'll get y prime is equal to, well, 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 minus 3 squared, all divided by 3 squared minus 2x. 3 squared minus 2 times 3. This equals 2. So 6 minus 9. Uh, divided by 9 minus 6. This is going to be equal to negative 3 over 3. This equals to negative 1. So there's our derivative. But yeah, this is just a quick uh, quick way of solving derivative. So this is what all, all I'm trying to show is that with implicit differentiation, we can solve a derivative just directly doing it without having to solve for y, which is really important, really uh, yeah, useful for all of math, calculus, and engineering and whatnot. Use it all the time. Just remember you could do this because you're doing the same thing on both sides and just apply your chain rule and power rule and whatnot, product rules. So oh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learn and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.